Welcome to the African Leadership Series, where we bring you great inspirational speeches from African leaders. And it is only, I think, when black people are so dedicated and so united in their cause uh, that we can effect the greatest results. And whether this is going to be through the form of conflict or not, will be dictated by the future which was firmly based on black consciousness, the essence of which was for the black man to elevate his own position by positively looking at those value systems uh, that make him distinctively a man in society. Um, first of all, we were of the view that this particular country um, is almost like a, an island of Europe in Africa. Uh, if you go throughout the whole of Africa, um, you do find aspects of African life which are uh, culturally ele elevated throughout the continent. But in this particular country, somehow, uh, any visitor who comes here tends to be uh, made to believe almost that uh, he is in Europe. He never sees blacks except in a subservient role. And this is all because of the cultural uh, dominance of the particular group which is now in power. Yeah. The issue here is that uh, you cannot, in pursuing the aspirations of black people, operate from a platform which is meant for the oppression of the black people. Now we see all these so-called Bandersland platforms as being deliberate creations by the nationalist government to contain the political aspiration of the black people and to give them pseudo-political uh, platforms to direct their attention to. Now, men like Gata Butilezi, Machanzima, Mangope, and so on, are all participants in the white men's game of holding the aspirations of the black people. Now, <clears throat> we do not feel it is possible in any way to turn such a platform to useful work. We believe the first principal step by any black political uh, leader is to destroy such a platform and destroy it and you know, without giving it any form of respectability. So once you step in it, once you participate in it, whether you are in the governing party or the opposition, you are in fact giving sanctity to it. You are giving respectability to it. So in a sense, people like Gato Buchelezi, like Matanzma and like Mongope are participants in a white man's game. And they are participants at the expense of the black man. And they are leading black people to a divided struggle, to speak as Zulus, to speak as Corsas, to speak as Peris, which is a completely new feature in, in political life of black people in this country. We speak as one combined whole, directing ourselves to a common enemy, and we reject anyone who wishes to destroy that unity. Yeah, we, we are, as I was saying, of the view that um, we should operate as one united whole towards uh, attainment of an egalitarian society for the whole of Azania. And therefore, any entrenchment of tribalistic, racialistic, or any form of sectional um, outlooks is abhorred by us. We hate it and we seek to destroy it. And it is for this reason, therefore, that we cannot see any form of coalition with any of the Pakistan leaders, uh, even the so-called best of them, like Katsubu Cherezi, because they destroy themselves by virtue of the kind of argument that one has put up. If you like informative and educational videos on Africa, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos.